Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> do the Finding of Isaac Repentance. Do Mother Streak. I, I, I like that I do that. You know, the whole instead of uh, just welcome. It, it, it emphasizes it a bit more, you know. Um, anyway, we're back on the Isaac to Mother Streak. This is run number 58. Isaac Hard, 57. Let's go. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get to it. What have we got today? The seed, 6k QT. That's me. I'm, I'm a cutie. Uh, 6y M3. Alright, let's uh, let's get going, shall we? On to the run. I wonder what we're going to get today. Is the game going to give us an easy one, a hard one? Who knows? Who knows? But for certain is that we're not going to get a re-roll straight away. <laughs> That's fine. And, um, oh, I love this item. This is Libra. Libra will balance all of your stats evenly. Completely evenly. And it's great. <laughs> I love Libra. Oh, look at this. This is an all stats up. Ready? Look at that. Beautiful. Perfectly balanced. Oh, Libra's such a good item. And the thing is, I, I know that there's a lot of people who don't like Libra. You know, there's so many people who think Libra is a terrible item and you should never pick it up. But I'm like... Dude, why would you not pick Libra? It's like, guaranteed stat upgrades for everything. Even if it's a tiny stat upgrade, it's a still a stat upgrade, you know? I'm a Libra lover. That's, that, there you go, title of the video, Bat Bosch, within the first two minutes of the video. Libra lover. Oh, so good. Um, so yeah, it essentially will make it so that every single stat that you take is completely evenly balanced. Um... So, yeah, it's it's great. And um, as you can see, it gives us quite a few consumables at the very start as well. So, I uh, can't complain with that. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So, uh, today I've been playing some more Deep Rock Galactic. I love that game. It's so good. Um, I'm, I'm getting into it a bit more. Um, it's so fun. The, uh, the Liquid Morkite missions are the best, in my opinion. I, I, I love the Liquid Morkite missions. Um, if you're playing as, like, Drill or whatever, it's great. But, yeah, it's not so good if you're playing as, like, Scout. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a Driller main. I, I main the Driller class in, the, in that game. And, oh, it's just too good. Too good. Um, yeah, we don't have anything to re-roll at the moment. So we'll, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll go into our boss room, see what's up. Maybe re-roll in there. If not, we'll just take the key and move on, I think. Um. But, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just really into that game at the moment. Uh, oh, wow. Okie dokie. We have a sack room as well. Oh. Oh. You know, you know what's up. You know what's up, YouTube. Oh, man. We hit the jackpot here. Hang on. I'm going to take out the boss first. Okay. We hit the jackpot of secret rooms. That's like getting a 777 on one of those machines that you only ever see happen in movies, you know? Like a little kid comes along, presses a button, and, and then the machine just pours out money. And it, 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 the kid's just, like killed because there was so much money who landed on top of him you know and he just he, he drowned in money um i don't ever think there's been a film where that's happened but it'd be interesting could be like um a horror film maybe i don't know um yeah we can re-roll this that's one just one black heart and three bombs i can do better than that yeah, that's more like it. Look at this. All stat upgrade as well. Hell yeah. That's why Libra is great. I love this item. It's so good. Um, yeah, before we play the sack room, I'm going to pick up this. Because let's say we get teleported to like a devil room or something. We'll at least have the reroll available to us. Um, yeah, let's, let's get going. One... A two. 
And uh, yeah, n now this is my life now. We we go back and forward from this secret room over and over again. <laughs> and get all all the sack room plays. We could leave this floor with full soul hearts if we get really lucky. Who knows? Alright. Three. Four. What are you? Okay, fine. Uh, sack rooms are great, especially when you find these these secret rooms with all the hearts in it. So good. This might be my longest floor one in a while, but I I love floor one in this game. It is the best. It is like what when you get situations like this, it is the most optimal thing in the run. That. Um, bit risky that. Bit risky. Could have died just by touching the spike. Shouldn't have done that. I should have gone, no Xantor. Stop. Just pick up some more health and keep going. We'll also check the curse room, but we'll check that after we've done the sack room, because I want to make sure we've got enough health. Um... But yeah. What's this? 7 8, is it? Mm. Ah! I'm fine. What's this? Oh, I want to stay away from that. <laughs> Yikes. Whew. That was a uh, Suicide King uh, card. When you use it, you will instantly die. Uh, so yeah. I believe if you use it with, like, um, you know, multiple lives, you'll be okay. Um, because you do get stuff from it, there is a good reason for it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's not worth me taking now. Um, here's Angel 1, we can take out Angel 1. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use Empress right now. Just to give me a little bit of an easier time. Ow. That's not good. That's really not good. Bit risky, um... Taking on the angel. I'm just gonna take that. I don't even care. Take it for extra protection. If I get hit, like, two more times, I'm dead. So, um... Yeah, I really didn't want to risk that. Um, especially on a win streak. Uh, I hope you understand. But we've, we've still got some stuff to do. We're still not done yet. Um, we can do that, that, and that. We just about have enough, I think. So this next hit is the big one. This is the, the big payout. Uh, so this payout will give either 20 coins or 7 soul hearts, I believe. Look at that, beautiful. There's the soul heart play. Um, and yeah, we can play it one more time for the second angel. There you go. Oh! That's not fair, he knocked me out of the room! Can't believe it. Well, we get Maggie's bow, which is, I mean, excellent. <laughs> that's, that's truly brilliant. Um, I can't believe that. We got trolled there. You saw that. The angel pushed me out. <laughs> can't believe that. Well, there's no problem with that. Maggie's bow is a great item. This is already a, a absolutely epic build. This is truly something. And it's still just floor one. So, I mean, look at that. See, look at that. First floor, maximum health. Can't even pick this up. Perfect. Near, near perfect. If you'd have gotten the second angel statue um, to drop a key, we would have re-rolled that as well. And we'd have a second item. Um, but you never know. Could have been good, could have been bad. I would be interested to see um, what, what it would have been. So, uh, if anyone is willing to do the science for me, um, f feel free to. 
And yes, I know we're at eight minutes still on the first floor, but hey, it's worth it, right? Let's move on. We're, we're moving on now. All right, what a really successful first floor. Um, let's go. <clears throat> One of the, the best first floors we've had uh, in this here streak, for sure. All the items are great. Another sack room? Well, I'm not playing that now that we've got all of these soul hearts. You've had your chance, game. All the time? Yeah, I'll take that. Do that. <clears throat> so yeah, the sticky ball of tar will uh, occasionally let you shoot out um, slowing tears. Tears that slow enemies down. And you'll also leave a little trail on the ground behind you uh, of tar, which again also slows enemies down. Wow, look at this! Double tinted drop. Right there. Two soul hearts? I feel scammed. I feel scammed. Uh, that's actually not great for us. But what I can do is this. Yeah, I'll take that. Extra trinket room, sure. Don't even want Giganti Beam. We'll check him here. We've got plenty of soul hearts to spare. Nice. And let's move on. A very, very good first floor. Could not have gone better um, besides that one extra item that we could have gotten. Um, top secret? Okay, find another soul heart. I don't, I don't even need that. Um, regular secret room? Well, okay. Cool. Uh, let's take on the boss. Ah, uh, the giant poo poo. Come here, poo poo. Ah. Uh. boss. The, uh, the explosives are a little scary though. A little scary. Uh, we'll check this first. Uh, I mean, I guess I take death's list. I, I guess. I've got no reason not to. Look at that. All stats up. Very nice. So yeah, that's literally what it does. It just turns any regular item into an all stats up. And I can't complain. Um, yeah, on to the next floor, I guess. I'm not going to do the uh, the sack room. No point, really. Uh, let's get going. I said there's no point because, like, we don't have really any red health on the floor. And either way, we've pretty much got entirely soul hearts. So... It would just make more sense. Oh, look at that, throwing a little explosive at me. Okay. I mean, with, with, with the luck I've had so far, we're probably going to see Henry this run as well. That'd be something. Um, yeah, for those who don't know, uh, there is a hidden enemy 
on this set of floors called Henry. He is a big poo, and he looks at you, smiles, and then flushes himself away down to a void. Very, very, very rare to see him. But he is in the game. It is a real enemy. It exists. It's just so, so rare that you're probably never going to see him. Um, I mean, like, for example, just look at how many times we've been down this set of floors. We've been down this set of floors, like, 68. Not 68, like, what, 58 times now? We've never seen Henry. Which shows how rare he is. I was going to say 68. 68. Oh, there, yeah. Oh, you. You're still alive. Oh, I don't like this room. This room's horrid. I do not want to go in this room with the, lo uh, with the lost. Might have to, though, annoyingly. At least I won't have to worry about the spikes, though, but yikes, that is a scary room. Um, yeah, I don't have to do that with the Lost. Okay, I'm not going to do that, then. We'll, uh, we'll skip it this time. Um, yeah, that's good. Battery's good. Allows us to store charges in the dice once it's full up. Oh, this boss. Should have known. It's the Chungus boss. I hate this guy. Oh, these stupid flies. <laughs> the orange flies are the worst, let me tell you. They they suck. Uh, some of my least favourite enemies in the whole game, the orange flies. Okay. Well, we, we've made it through. Um, I could have re-rolled that now that I think about it, but that's fine. Come on, just get you out of the way. Ooh, lump of coal? Sure. Let's move on. Um, okay, got to do that, that, and let's go and grab our knife piece. Yeah, I'm definitely not going in this big L-shaped room. It's too dangerous. That we only have to go in here as the lost. So that's what two rooms to clear, maybe one. Um, yeah, let's go. Not like him. There we go. Not doing that one because uh, that was where we spawned. Oh, I wanted to do Death's List. Oh well. So yeah, Death's List, um, it's a weird, strange item. Um, whenever you go into a room, you'll see a skull on an enemy's head. And if you kill the enemy's in the order that the skull shows, you'll get a stat upgrade. I believe it's permanent. So if we do that with this character, or well not this character, but with Libra, it'll be a permanent stat upgrade for everything. <laughs> so it's pretty good. Parasystoid's great. Are you now seeing the true potential of Libra? It is so good. Uh, yeah, let's just move on, I guess. Knife piece one acquired. And, uh, you know what? You know what? I'll take this. I never take this trinket. But I believe... I, I, I don't remember what it is exactly, but I think there's something like it will randomly give you a familiar at some point. 
So, um, yeah, we'll check it out. Alright, knife piece one. And mines. Let's go. But yeah, that L-shaped room was not worth uh, doing as the last too dangerous. Without that many, like, orange flies. Nah, I don't like that. Not ready for my streak to end today. Not today. Okay. Secret room here? Nope. Could have been, though. Uh, I'm certain there's one here, though. Maybe not. Maybe? I don't know. Was I too close? Was I not close enough? I don't know. So yeah, the, uh, the channel's been doing quite well recently. The, um, this here, Isaac, Isaac channel. We are, um, now sitting at around 115 subscribers, 114, 115 around that area. So once again, thank you to everyone who's subscribed so far. Look at that, there we go. We got a permanent stat upgrade. Because we killed them in the right order. I didn't even... I wasn't even looking at the skulls, if I'm honest. But, uh, yeah. I will try and do it if I can. Permanent stat upgrades is, you know, it's good. There we go. Now this guy. I believe it, it's not always stat upgrades. I think sometimes you get like things like, yeah, like bombs and stuff, and, uh, collectibles. So it's not always a stat upgrade, but sometimes it is. Uh, you know what, Robo Baby? I'll take you. I could use a little familiar. Keep you going. Uh, let's try and find the boss room now. Uh, bait and switch. This is the uh, the item I mentioned the other day when we saw that um, that thing trapped behind a wall in an underground spot where there was two items. I can't remember if you remember it, but that's an item you can use for that. Uh, sure, we'll take this. So yeah, it seems like adoption papers makes familiars appear in shops. Actually, that seems to be what it does. I couldn't remember. I thought it just made a random familiar appear every now and then. Wow. Okay. Um, if I leave and re-enter, are you... No, that's fine. I mean, Dad's ring is great. I think it might have been, actually. It might have turned it into a, um... A secret room item. That's fine. Dad's ring's good. Any enemy that gets into our little ring, right here, our little circle, will, um, be frozen. So it stops, like, enemies, you know, getting inside, getting into you, essentially. Doing contact damage. Contact damage doesn't exist anymore, essentially. But, you know, it's pretty good. Getting really lucky with these, uh, these luck upgrades. Ow. Can I kill you and then you? Yes. And look at that. Permanent, permanent stat upgrade as well. Alright, let's take on the boss now. And uh, I'm going to use the Empress as well. Uh, I will say something about Death's List. It's not worth going for every single room. Because chances are, if you go for every room, you're just going to take more damage than it's worth. Um, I'd say only really go for it when you know that you definitely can. Based on the, uh, the enemy layout. Or things like that. Um, yeah, that's too valuable. That regen right there is, uh, it, yeah, it's health up and regen. It's it's the regen that is the most appealing to me. It's just too good. If you get low on health with a lot of red hearts, you can just sit and wait for like 20 minutes and uh, be fine. Hey look, another all stats upgrade. Albeit a small one, it still is all stats. We're dealing slightly more damage than we were before. And that builds up. Very good. Alright, let's move on for reals now.
could have re-rolled it, but uh, I kind of wanted it. Onward. Of course, this floor now we have to get our second knife piece. What is in here? Holy waters. Uh, I'll take that. Really good item. It's a weird one, holy water. It used to be a really bad item. But gradually, over the years, they've improved it and improved it and improved it. And made it better and better. Until the point where it's just ungodly overpowered now. <laughs> it's such a good item. I remember the, the old days where it used to be just really bad. Back in the Flash days. So yeah, I've been playing them the Binding Wives for quite, for quite some time now. Um, I think it was around 2014? 2013 or 2014 when I first got the game. And that was, um... No, it would have been 2013 then. Yeah. And, um... Ooh, that's good, actually. Because that's, um... That's conjoined right there. Yoink. Conjoined. Uh, I'm just going to drop this trinket now. I don't really want any more familiars, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm happy with just... Conjoined. Um, yeah, I've been playing since around 2013, I think. I can't remember exactly. It does say on your Steam profile when you bought games. Um, so yeah, I could definitely have a look at that. But I've had it for quite a long time. Um, and I originally played the Flash version with Wrath of the Lamb. Um, and then I've been following the game ever since I knew that there was a sequel coming. I remember seeing like the um, the, the gifts that Redmond would post. I remember that one particularly being like just the monstro boss fight. And I was like, oh my god. It looks so good. Everything's better. <laughs> I've been following it all the, uh, the whole time. And it's been great. Um, yeah, let's take out the boss now. Oh, good old Gideon. Great Gideon. Not so great Gideon. Kind of alright, Gideon. Above average, Gideon. Two and a quarter percent, Gideon. A hundred and a third, Gideon. Seven point six 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 recurring, Gideon. Cool. Uh, all stats up. Nice. And uh, let's pay for the door. No double room. No double room. Okay. Whatever. Let's go and grab a knife piece. If I can find out where where to go for it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've played the game for a long time. Um, I couldn't tell you what was in every different version of the game. I, I literally can't remember. Because um, it kind of like... Oh, like the, the new game kind of overwrites my memory of the old version. But yeah. I've, I've played this game a lot. Um... I used to watch a couple of different people play this game back in the day. Um, number one was Biznap. If anyone knows of Biznap. That's how I, I started playing this game. Um, I then remember watching Cobalt Streak when uh, when this game, like, Rebirth came out. And I watched him quite a bit because he was doing a, um, a stream with Richard Hammer. Um, it, they were essentially doing 12 hour shifts playing this game until they 100%ed it. They were going to be the first people to do it. Um, don't know if they did in the end or not. I have no idea. But I, I remember they were streaming a lot. Um, I also remember... Yeah, the Cobalt Streak, Balls of Steel. Um, 
challenge. It was kind of like a tournament on the original Flash Isaac between two people to beat the game as quick as possible. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, then I kind of dropped off of the Binding of Isaac in terms of like watching other people play it for a while. Um, yeah, I've, I've watched a little bit of Northern Lion as well, of course, of course, Northern Lion. Um, but I found, like, the, the, the problem I had was that he would just talk about stuff I've actually got zero clue about. And it was like, I, I didn't understand a word that was being said, it was like a different language almost. <laughs> like, I find it, I, I don't know, it, it was like... I just didn't understand a word he was saying. It was like like all English, but none of it made any sense. You know, it was it was strange. Um, so I I wasn't um, you know a, a particularly avid watcher of Northern Lion. Um, and nowadays I I tend to watch uh, Lars Fest. Lars Fest is the big big streamer for me. Um, he doesn't really do YouTube that much, but he, he definitely does um, Twitch. And he's got some pretty impressive streaks. Uh, 1028, I believe, was his Eden. Um, his best Eden streak. And that was, uh, I believe, Afterbirth Plus. So, uh, yeah. Pretty big numbers. Pretty big numbers. And uh, as I'm saying this now, he's probably doing um, his Tainted Lost streak. Uh, which he's got about a PB of 9 of. Which is, you know, crazy considering. But uh, yeah, those are the people that I watch. Um, play Isaac. But I'll, I'll be honest, because I'm making these videos, I am watching a lot less Isaac content. Um, than I used to. So, yeah, it's just one of those things, right? When you, you make so many videos about a game um, like this, you've got to kind of take a bit of a break, otherwise you'll get all isaac out. And I don't want to be isaac out, because this game's great. Um, so got a knife piece, purple door, let's go. But yeah, um, I don't want to get isaac out, so I'm limiting myself to one run a day maximum. Sometimes there will be times when I'm not able to do a run. Um, it's just how things are, but that's fine. There's no problem with that. Things are what they are, you know. Uh, let's actually go this way. Ooh, Curve Torn. Look at that. Curve Torn isn't just a isn't just a pure damage up, it's an everything up. Ooh, that's good. We could uh we could do some good stuff with this. That was a waste of a heart, by the way, I just realized. I really want this guy to pay out now. Okay. Abaddon. Hmm. I like Abaddon. Yeah. Worth. So I could have, if I really wanted to, re-roll that a couple of times to uh, try and get something like Glitched Crown, but dude, Abaddon, I rarely see it nowadays, so I can't say no. I, I, it's impossible to say no to it. Uh, roll it? Yeah. Roll it? Sure. Okay, the moon. That's a teleport to our secret room. Not really much point. But yeah, we're, we're in a pretty good state, this run. Um... Mainly from that initial health, but either way, the game's been quite generous with the health giving anyway. So, I mean, we wouldn't be in trouble. Um, even if we didn't uh, play the sack room, I think. Ow. Ooh. 
Gotta go for Nordleaf. Gotta do it. Oh. If only I'd have known you were here, I wouldn't have played that earlier. Oh, I wouldn't have taken Abaddon so soon. I would have waited if I'd have known. Another stat upgrade. Ow. Ow. Taking all sorts of damage now. Oh, another one? Oh, come on, game. Like, what am I supposed to do with all these dinguses? I can't, I can't do anything with those. I've already gotten rid of all my health. Yeah, maybe Abaddon was a mistake. Worth. Okay, well, um, oh, what's this? The sun? Nah, don't need that. It's reverse sun anyway, not regular sun. Don't even remember what that does, being honest. Um, all stats up, nice. See, it's just great. You don't even really have to care about what items you pick up, really. Just everything is a stat upgrade. And gradually your, your build just gets stronger over time. I mean, can't hate it. Oh, we had sad bombs there. You saw that? Rest sprite. Alright. What do you got? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, things could get a bit spicy here. Um, we have paid for the door, so we could take both of these if I really wanted to. We are a little bit spicy for health now, but uh, we have a couple of soul hearts lying around. And I'd say both of these items are worth it. Uh, Ace Diamonds, nah, full nah. Yeah, let's just go to the next floor. Uh, we'll check out Arcade though first, I guess, just in case. Okay, yeah, I'll play that. Get back to some of the health I, I lost. Okay, I won't pay anymore. Ace of Diamonds, whatever. I'll, I'll rather take Ace of Diamonds than that. Look at all of this. Oh, another luck up. You saw it. I saw it. I saw the luck up. The little green glimmer. So yeah, basically you can tell if you get a, uh, if you get a, um, uh, a, a lucky penny before you even pick it up by looking at the green glimmer. Uh, anyway, Gehenna 2. What a really cool run so far. Bit different. Feels different. It's got like a different a different flavour to all the other builds we've had. Pretty nice. Oh, Planetarium. Uh, Luna. Yeah, I could do Luna. Why not? So Luna will give you... Uh, well, it'll tell you where the secret room is to start with. And inside of your secret room, there'll be a guaranteed tears up that you can get for the floor. So look at this. This is a shining light. You stand in it, get a um, what would be a tears up for the floor, but it's now an everything up. Uh, so is this. That's an everything up as well. All stats for that. Uh, 
Oh, the batteries! Oh, well, I didn't need them anyway. Couldn't reach them anyway. What do you have? Oh, Diplo. Ugh. If only I'd have known. If I had known. Tell you what I would have done. I would have, uh... I would have diploed that, the ring, and it would go here, and then we'd re-roll both of them. To get Glitch Crown. Glitch Crown would be the first one, and Death Cert would be the second. And we'd have a whale of a time. We'd have, have a merry old day. Or a new day, whichever you prefer. I don't discriminate against age. Okay, I, I, I was caught. I got shoved into the next room. Move along, sir. Another moon card. I don't need all this moon. Damn moon. Alright, uh, we'll keep exploring. What a weird looking floor. Weird shapes. Alright, what do you got? Gib. Uh, I think we Diplo in there. I mean, we've got nothing to lose. Right? We Diplo, and then we re-roll and do like a, a sextuple re-roll. Why not? I mean, sure, like, two of the items we won't be able to see, so it's technically just a quad re-roll. But still, I think a, a sextuple re-roll would be very, very, uh, quaint, I guess. That's a, a good word you can use. Coolwordsyoucanuse.com Um, it's not a real website, probably. All right. Eh. Uh, all right, all right, all right, game. All right. Ah, uh, all right. Okay. Good. Sure. That'll do. That was worth it. <laughs> Both of those items are great. That was well worth it. Cool. Very, very nice. Overall, a really solid run. We've had a lot of good stuff. A lot of cool, cool items. Fun build. Let's take out Massa. Look at that damage. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, we're going to take Polaroid for this. And honestly, no. Um, we could do this, but I think at this point, it's too risky. We're a bit too late to be doing Judas's Shadow. It's not bad, I just think we're, we're too late. If we'd have gotten it like, second or third floor, I would have said it was worth it. But at this point, when we've only got like, two floors left, it's really not worth it. Alright, onward. Two the corpse. Alright, let's go get a stats upgrade for the floor. There we go, stat upgrade for the floor, very nice.
Stat upgrade for floor.com. Definitely not a real website, but I'm sure the domain is available. Let's uh, do the boss then, I guess. Look at that melting the boss. The reason why the boss is being melted so hard is mainly, mainly because of the conjoint mixed with proptosis. Um, those two combined are making us do a lot of damage. I'm just going to take this. Because we're like we're standing super duper close to an enemy whenever we attack it, um, meaning, oh, oh, that's just yeah. We're standing really close to enemies when we take them out, so Proptosis is doing a lot of damage, and because we've got conjoined as well, uh, I'm just gonna blow this up. I've got a better use for my money. Um, where was I? I don't remember. Oh yeah, and conjoined being so close to the enemy means we deal a lot of damage to our enemies as well. Because um, it's the mix of being close to our enemies with proptosis and conjoined. More than one of the tier is hitting the enemy every single time. It's like two, two, two of these tiers are hitting the enemy at the same time. See that? Two of those, if you stand super close. They all hit the enemy, so we did a lot more damage that way. Uh, Guppy 1, probably don't need that at this point. A bit late, but hey-ho. It's not going to hurt. And uh, I think you know what I'm going to do with this reverse judgment. So reverse judgment will uh, it'll spawn a. Oh, this is good. Yeah, reverse judgment will spawn a thing. Uh, actually, I'm going to do this. Two, three, four. I'm not going to play it anymore. That rhymes. Um, yeah, reverse judgment will spawn a re-roll machine. And because we've got Goat Head, I think you know where it's going. Should probably just do this first. Sacrificial Altar? Nah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. It's fine. Um, we could get that battery, but uh, nah. it's a spike battery. I don't want to get hurt. Um, that turned out about as well as it could have done. I don't really know what else I would have wanted. Maybe the mark and the pact, I guess, or some other guppy items, but whatever. Um, let's move on to Corpse 2. I don't, I, I don't know what to expect. But, you know, I'm fine with the outcome. Ceremonial Robes is one of my my up-and-coming all-time favourite items of the game. Not only does it give you a big damage up, but it also gives you a stack of health. One of the greatest items in this game. Early game especially, it is... It's great.
Notice how this entire game I've not complained about a stat upgrade. And that's because we've got Libra. Gives you what you need when you need it. Too good. Before we go into the mother boss room, let's 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 see. Ah, uh, it wasn't the thing. Uh, oh well. If it was the Steam sale, that'd have been great. Reminder that there is a currently a Steam sale going on right now as I'm recording this. Um, on the 15th of March, 2023. So once again, if you like to look at this game, you made it this far into the video and you don't own it, uh, you should get it. <laughs> You should get it, it's, it's one of the best games of all time. It's difficult. Uh, I, I I will say I probably make this game look quite easy, but trust me, it's it's not easy. It's very difficult. Um, try doing this entire run as the Lost and uh, and tell me it's easy. Or uh, Tainted Lost. Yeah, it's not easy. Um, but heck is it satisfying. And you get to do this. You get to win streak once you've finished it. Isn't that great? Um, yeah, let's move on. Let's uh, go into the mother boss fight. We're going to use the strength card straight away. And um, yeah. We're at 9.99 damage. Look at this dams right here. This damage and distress. The dams in distress. For that. Very nice. Ow. Easy. Easy peasy. And with that. Let's take an all stats down. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate you coming along, checking the video out. If you enjoy it, remember to give me a like and a subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it. The channel's growing. It's growing very nicely at the moment. Um, yeah, if you want to contribute to that, remember to subscribe and all that. And, uh, yeah. If not, then fine. Fine. Don't, don't subscribe. I don't mind. It's your choice, you know. And, um, yeah. There we go. Very, very good indeed. What are we up to now? 58. Tune in next time for number 59. 10 away from 69. Nice.